Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, the one and only Hancho J23. I'm live with the one and only Reef Marley in the building. You know what I'm saying? For episode 131. What's good, Reef? What's up, man? What's good Thank with it, you man? Thank you for having me, bro. I appreciate it. Most definitely, most yeah. definitely, man. It's glad to, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> finally link up with you and finally get this interview locked in place, man. So nice. tell us a little bit, man, about how, you know what I'm saying, introduce yourself to the people, let the people know who you are, and we're going to jump right into it. All right. What's up, everybody? I'm Reef Marley. Reef like a coral reef. Marley, like Bob Marley, and what I do is I have a YouTube channel, and I also do music as well. If you check, everything is under Reef Marley also, so uh, if you check out my YouTube uh, channel, I have hundreds of videos for you to check out, and then I'm also streaming everywhere, such as Spotify, Apple Music, uh, just about everything, so um, yeah, man, check me out. I'm from Wilmington, North Carolina. And uh, I'm here to rock with your boy, Hato J, man. I appreciate you having me, bro. Most <laughs> definitely, bro. Most definitely, man. Well, first things first, like I said, welcome to the show, man. I'm glad to have you. It's always a pleasure. All right, so real quick, let us know real quick how you got into the music and where it started and how and where it all originated for, from for you. Uh, well, I mean, I've always had a love for music, passion for music, uh, passion for hip-hop music. And uh, I really got into actually writing music uh, probably about 10 years ago, then started doing it more seriously about five years ago. So um, it just came, I think it just came from my love for hip hop music and, um, and my love for just writing in general. So like English was like my strong subject. Like I wasn't good at math, but I was good at English. Like I could write well, I could make up stories. And then it ended up being poetry, and then it ended up being actually music. Okay. And uh, I love it. I love to do it, man. And I want to continue to to progress and become better at, at what I do. Most definitely. So you mentioned poetry, man. So what's that been like? You know, being able to tap into that that source of all different areas that you tap into. What is those areas like for you? Like it's like honestly, I I really do love it. It's a passion. It's uh it's an escape for me. Also, um, I mean, I can put myself in a zone and start writing something and really just forget about everything that's around me and very therapeutic. And, um, and honestly, I guess I could say like, I'll be proud of myself. Like right. after I get done with the verse or, and, and I read it back and I'd be like gassing myself up like, man, this is crazy. Like, right, right, this. right, right. And uh, and that's what I that's what I do it for. I just I truly enjoy to do it, and and like I said, I want to continue to do it. So so it feels good. Man. <laughs> most definitely, most definitely. All right, so talk to us a little bit about your upbringing, a little bit, and how and and what and how did you, you know, how did you, how were you able to find your niche into this music life and really press for and really pursue your dream and your career? Right. Uh, well, my upbringing, I'm from uh, New, New Bern, North Carolina. Uh, I grew up there, raised by my grandparents. God bless my grandparents, you know. Most definitely, most um, definitely. And, you know, music wasn't really a thing that I was so much in, into earlier on. Okay. And I just think that I didn't really realize or, un or understand. Um, and then when I moved to Wilmington is when I had actually um, put out a CD that has my music actually on it um, really low quality stuff that I was just doing in my own in my own house and I was still kind of happy with it and so I showed my friends and then I had met some co-workers who were my friends who became my friends in Wilmington showed them my music and then they knew uh, a group of musicians that were already established in Wilmington so he was like yo you should go and meet these people show them your, your music see what they think so that went down and they were like yeah I mean um you know let me become a part of their team and what they had going on and then so that's when I started performing and so then I really started taking it more seriously when I was when there was people that were actually listening to me more people listening to me so I was like okay like I need my stuff to be as, as good as possible and then it just progressed from there, um, just going from there and still trying to progress and still trying to up my quality, you know, even to this day. And that's where I'm at right now. And I'm hoping um, as I continue to progress with my quality, 
and work ethic that uh, eventually something will really pop off and hopefully I can catch fire. Most definitely. That's the goal, you know. Most definitely, and I definitely feel that, man, you know, because it was very rare that you find people like, like such as yourself that are able to do so many different things and, so, and have so many different talents in so many different areas, man. But I got to know, man, what's, you know, what's this, you know, this pandemic, how is it, how have you been dealing with this pandemic, man? Because of course, you know, it's, uh, it's you know, had to, you know, it's pretty much put a lot of artists, you know, down for a little bit, you know, to kind of reform and rebrand and things yeah. like that. How's that been for you? How's that process been for you? Uh you know, for me, I feel like I've absolute, absolutely um, been blessed, you know, that I haven't been sick. I haven't lost anyone close to me or, you know, lost anyone that I really know at all. Um, so, you know, in a crazy way, I hate to even say it, it's been a good time for me because I've been I've had more time to myself to work on things that I've been wanting and needing to work on a lot. And um, I like to have, you know, a bit of a social life as well. So, you know, if I'm going out and drinking Friday night, Saturday night, staying up late, spending money, I'm staying up late, I'm waking up early. Or I'm staying up late, I'm waking up late. Right, so right. that time, like, I could have been focusing on stuff that I should be focusing on. Because it's great going out and it's a good time and everything. But, you know... It, I don't want to say it's meaningless because you you have you make good memories and you have great times with your friends, but I, I think sometimes uh, going out all the time can be counterproductive. Right. And the pandemic has pretty much put a stop to that. Right. So I just had more time to focus on the music and like I haven't been able to perform like I haven't done a live show since before the pandemic and thank you for inviting me to perform tonight it's most definitely my first time performing in a minute so <laughs> yeah. excited nervous you know all those feelings most definitely so, uh, but yeah so i would say overall the pandemic has been good for me when it comes to my music Okay. All right. So, talk to us a little bit. So, when it comes to your music and you putting out the songs that you put out, what what is the message behind this music that you want the people to be able to take away from you and from your career? Yeah, you know, that's a really great question because now that uh, I'm getting more into my career and more people are listening, I actually want to be creating a more mature music. I guess is a good way for me to put it. Um, so I will say, like, some of my music I'm not actually proud of. You know, at the time, I was happy with it. And I, you know, it was whatever I was feeling at the time. Mm -hmm. um, but now that, you know, one thing would be, like, my family members mm -hmm. starting to hear that I'm doing music and starting to listen to it. And now I'm like, man, I really don't want, like my aunt or my little cousin like right me say some of this stuff because, right you know i don't want to say it's not me because i don't like to make up stuff right you know i i like to be authentic in my music right but some things aren't really for everybody to hear and you know maybe some way that i was living five years ago when i put out something you know i'm not the same person that i was mm -hmm. back then you know, so, so what I want people to take away as of now, I don't really have much of a message uh, as of now, but I think as I prog progress and, um, and become a more mature artist and maybe even a better artist, then I will have a better message that I can be proud of. For people to take away from i'm not saying i don't want you to listen to my music like, right but i am in the process as of now of creating a better message and uh and i hope you know somebody out there will start to follow me and and um and watch me on my journey Oh, so definitely. So, real quick, so let us know, Ruka, about your about your audience, your audience level as it relates to is when you when you when people see you perform, do is it more of a diverse crowd, more of a you know elderly crowd, older crowd? Like, how's that crowd response for you? It's all different. You know, it it depends on more of the venue. I think of where I'm actually performing, because still at this level, I don't. I don't have a, a big following uh -huh. yet. 
So I can't really say like what my fan base is because my fan base would be mostly like my friends and family. Okay. People that I've been in contact with closely. So I still have haven't hit that breaking point where people from all over are just listening to me, you know, and then those people are actually coming to my shows that, you know, whatever that demographic may be. Um, you know, I hope that when I progress, that it will be definitely a sea of all different people. Most all, you know, elderly, you know, anybody, anybody. And that would, that would be a, probably, you know, a, a great feeling and an ultimate goal <laughs> to be able to reach out to many different people and affect different people. But for the shows that I have done, cause I did a lot of performing in Wilmington. It's really a mixed crowd. It, it is. And, um, and I love that, you know. Most definitely, most definitely. definitely. So, with that, so with that being said, so you know, a lot of times, you know, you you find artists that you know are able to be versatile in certain styles, certain ways they flow in their music. How do you feel like your music, in a sense, kind of flows with the vibe of how people you know react when they do hear your music? Um. Well, I like to think. <laughs> <laughs> that people hear and think that it's dope, you know? And I like to try and be versatile. Like, my last song, I'm, you know, start off kind of singing, then on the hook, I am singing, and then on the verse, I'm rapping. Okay. So, I'm trying to become more versatile now and be able to do different things. And um, and with the singing as well, um, my next song that's coming out will be dropping hopefully next week and I'm going to be doing a little singing in that as well and also rapping so uh, so while I'm writing my music I'm consciously thinking of how I can be more versatile so I'm hoping that people will notice that and uh, be more inclined to listen to my music because of that and so I want to continue to bring that and, and come harder and harder and get better and better as I as I go on with my Career. Most definitely. Well, as they say, practice is key. So I definitely, Absolutely. I definitely, I definitely believe, I definitely believe, and I definitely see the vision, man. And I definitely, you know, wish you well and everything that you continue to do with your career, man. Sure. All right. So real quick, who's been who's been like your biggest musical influence that has that has inspired you and that has pushed you to really, again, like I said before, push music to your fullest extent. Well, it's hard to say um, who the biggest influence is i've had a lot of different artists that i've really liked and enjoyed and liked different things about the different artists okay and i've never been the type to, to really idolize okay. so there's not like one person where i'm like yo this is this is that person uh so it's multiple like like the very first um artist that i really heard and was like really impressed and like wow this and this is uh around right before kindergarten okay around five you know and it and i heard some jay some jay-z um snoopy track so i think it was like sean time i think it was like volume two sean carter volume two it okay um so i heard that whole cd and um and and kind of fell in love with hip-hop at that point and then later on hearing more it was it was jay to kiss and the locks that were out really mm. really uh, like Jada mm, okay. and um and then shortly after that like Eminem came out really okay. like Eminem later on uh Lil, Lil Wayne blew up crazy so I was everything Lil Wayne job I was listening to okay because I enjoyed the wordplay so much and then so I looked to that you know to be like okay this is what I think makes a great artist like if I can rap like that if I can have those crazy punchlines and the crazy wordplay like that's mm -hmm. a that's a good hip hop artist. Mm -hmm. So like, I listen for for what I think would be a good artist, and not that I mimic, but you know I recognize like the talent, and and yeah, I want to be like that as well. And then after Wayne, it was like Cole, J Cole came out, and Drake. Okay. Okay. And then so now it's like yeah, I just listen to to everybody. I like to listen to the radio, see what. You know, see what other people are listening to what's making the radio what's trending on spotify and apple music okay you know and uh kind of i do kind of try and go off that i guess okay some, some, you know and 
you call that we we'll call that benchmarking. Right, right. Any business it, would look at another business and say, "What is this business doing to be so successful?" Right, right. And kind of you know follow, follow suit. Okay, okay. Now, real quickly, um, I'm I'm not sure if you're familiar, but I'm pretty sure you probably because it's been going on all around the world. But um, there was a versus battle that was created by Timberland and Swiss Beats. You know, we've had so many epic, iconic battles, man. But out of those battles that that you probably have um, seen or watched, has there been any particular battle and you know mainly that you've really oh, enjoyed? Okay. The ones that were like the big artists. Mm -hmm. See, I just seen clips. Okay. So I saw like more of the um, the Jadakiss and Fab. Okay. One and yeah, I was big fan of Jadakiss and Fab. Okay. Growing up, um, so that was probably yeah, that's the one that I've seen the most, and I think it's great because they're calling it like a battle, mm -hmm. but it's really love, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, and like I'm, it's great to see that with two artists that are so successful and like. Or were so successful, but maybe they're not so much in the light anymore. And then you kind of forget, like, how real and, like, how dope this artist is. Mm -hmm. And then you hear it. And I love how they're bringing stuff back, like the Monica and mm -hmm. Brandy. Like, mm -hmm. it's brilliant, you know? People um, doing new things during this pandemic and, uh, you know, making, not I don't know, making the best out of it, but trying new things and and still putting out content because it's tough for artists you know not necessarily speaking about myself but i'm sure you know even for a bigger a big artist not being able to perform not being able to interact with fans mm -hmm. and stuff like that so now they have to now they have to do these other things but but yeah so yeah i would say probably the fab the fab and jaded kiss Okay. Okay. Now, real quick, is there is there anybody out here locally or industry wise that you would love to hop in the studio with and collab with at, at any point? Or oh, man. so many artists, so many big artists. I mean, any big artist. Right. Honestly, like at this point, I'm trying to get out there. So, like, any artist would be a blessing. Um, so yeah, I got a feature with. Will Will Wildfire. Okay. And that's gonna be dropping next week. And that came out really fire. So just getting that mixed and mastered right now. And then I'll be able to drop that really soon. So um I saw Will and I saw uh, Charlemagne shout him out. Okay. And I was like, yo, this guy and then I heard some of his music, I was like, This guy is really going places. Right, so right. I hit him up and I, uh, you know, shout out, you know, for them working with me and everything. So, um, and then yeah like artists like more local artists like um i love to work with amani on a track uh, i just got a couple beats from her my last song i dropped is called keep it low low my okay. newest single amani did that beat for me fire um and then my next song coming out with will wildfire she made that beat as well and so i just she's extremely talented so i would love to work with her and um I would love to do a track with Shame Ooh, as well. Okay. So, um, just a couple artists that I've been actually already thinking about reaching out to for, you know, seeing, you know, if they would be down to work. And, um, yeah, there's plenty more artists. I think there's right. a lot of talented artists out here. And so it's nice to see Carolina blowing up, too, mm -hmm. and having, you know, some of the biggest artists in the country is like, we're right here too. Right. Like, I mean, we're close. Exactly. So, exactly. It's just interesting, man. Life is interesting. Just interesting. Just to not know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. But you know, and that's why we grind and we keep working. You know, because the work does pay off. Mm -hmm. and it does create things. You know that we, right. Right. You can create things that you know if you're being if you're just not doing not, anything, then nothing's really gonna happen for you. So it is does take a lot of sacrifice takes a lot of work and um that's what i'm in the middle of okay right now all right that's what it is that's what it is. i definitely man i definitely you know what I'm, saying? I'm 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 enjoying this insight man it's it's, it's truly uh <laughs> I appreciate you, it's one man. of those things man that really people take they really sit back and they really take attention and they really pay attention to it so definitely we salute you bro all right so um also real quick when it comes to you know 
uh, the young and up and coming artists that's coming up in the game and really chasing their dreams and pursuing their career, you know, what advice do you have for the viewers out here that are listening that are watching that needs to know, like, yo, what do I do to, you know, keep my, you know, to keep my, you know, to keep the keep the pressure hot, keep the keep the movie hot? Yeah, I mean, I definitely don't have all the answers, right? I, or I would be farther than I am myself, but I mean, you know, not to be, you know, super cliche, but basically just keep working. Um, Whatever it is that you've been thinking about doing, go ahead and start now and use what you have available now. Use your resources, whatever resources you have. Mm -hmm. It may not be much, but use it to the best of your ability and then you'll be able to cre create more. So I think what a lot of people don't know is if you have an iPhone 7, mm -hmm. you can do a lot with okay. that iPhone 7. Okay. Uh, I actually have a YouTube video that's a t tutorial on how to make a vlog okay using your iphone 7 okay so there's a 4k setting on if you have an iphone 7 there's a 4k setting so you can create a better quality footage it's going to take up a lot of space in your phone but you can get some good quality footage shoot whatever it is you want to shoot then you got imovie i would edit all my youtube videos on imovie and then you can upload right there um so Whatever it is that you're trying to do, just go ahead and start it mm -hmm. now because you'll get better through time. Right. Like if you look at anybody's, any famous person, if you look at their work from when they first started to their work now, it's going to be a lot better. But you just you just got you just have to start and uh, keep working at whatever it is, and uh, that's the only way to uh, to get what you really want. So. Find out whatever it is that you really want and then start taking your baby steps. That's why I say baby steps, baby steps. That's like true. those little steps, eventually you look back and you're like, oh, okay, I'm making a little progress here. Right, right. So that's what it's all about, man. Just keep it going, you know. Um, keep coming up with new content or whatever, you know. I don't, you know, it, de it depends on what it is that you're trying to do. But if you're trying to be seen out here with the music, a lot of a lot of it is uh, I think is visibility. Mm -hmm. Like you can have great music, but if nobody's got eyes on you, then um, then nobody's gonna see you. And I think that's one of my issues also. So I think that you just have to keep putting out content, even if it is just you know a picture of yourself. And I don't always do it myself. Sometimes you know I'm not posting every day like I should be. Mm -hmm. So you know I don't want to be hypocritical, but depending on how bad you want it. The internet is a great thing. Social media is a great thing. And just use it. Okay. Okay, I feel that. I definitely feel that. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You know, social media has truly taken a mind of its own. And has really, you know... <laughs> The world has changed. Yeah, man. man. Everything is run by social media now. So, de so definitely, like you said, you know, definitely, you know, put the content out there. You know, saying so definitely, you know, saying so continue to promote, you know, promote either yourself or, or what you got going on. And as they say, you know, ain't no telling who might can see, you know, who well, might thing, who man. might come across it. You know, that's the thing. You can, you're, we're connected worldwide now. Most definitely, most yeah. definitely. All right. So, real quick, um, when it comes to five to ten years from now, I'm not sure if you thought that far ahead, but is there any other hidden talents or skills that you would love to pursue, you know, other than just your, your music career? Well, yeah. Yeah. I want to I wanna be able to do more than just music. And, I mean, I would say, like, the entertainment thing, like, I've already kind of started. So, like I was talking about on my YouTube channel, like, I have, like, pranks, tutorials, um, all type of stuff, you know, traveling. Um, so I would like to be more of an entertainer and, mm -hmm. um, and be able to prove that I can do more than just music. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that would be definitely an ultimate goal to be, uh, considered multi-talented, to be good at different mm -hmm. things and, uh, hopefully create many different, uh, streams of revenue. Mm-hmm. Which is also, you know, part of the goal so we can, you know, pay our bills and, and feed ourselves and our families. Right. So, um, when it comes to hidden talent, I don't know yet. Um, I would like to possibly get into, like, making beats. Okay. And um, producing myself. Like, I like to um, 
try and be self sufficient as self sufficient as possible. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so, you know, I think maybe one day I might be making beats because okay. I've thought about it a lot and it's something that I'm interested in and something that I think I could do. I just haven't really got into it yet. So maybe that maybe that could be something five ten years. Okay. Okay. Now, real quick, no. When it comes to venues and things of that nature, is there any particular venue that you've performed or been to that you're like, yo, this is the vibe. You know, this is where I'm able to really be myself and just really just, you know, get you know, go with the flow kind of thing. Yeah. Um. Not exactly in particular. Uh, Most of my shows have been smaller shows in Wilmington. So. you know, I still haven't performed at a really big venue. Or something okay. that I would consider like a really big venue. Um, okay. So, so not yet. Like I see things, I see places on TV that I would love to be a part of. Mm-hmm. You know, crazy shows. I mean, so still a goal of mine is to be able to be performing for. You know, I mean. I'm still waiting to perform for a thousand people. Right, you know? right, so, <laughs> right, like, right, right, so right. So when I see that, like, that'll be a, you know, first down. And then we keep going, and you know, as the numbers progress, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I want to perform somewhere like I see, you know, on TV. Okay. For a huge crowd of people. I would love that. Okay, I feel that. I feel that, and we def- and I definitely look forward to you know seeing you on those stages, man. Because there's so many, man. But you know, due to the uh, you know the recent circumstances of COVID, right. man, it's you know a lot of places have really shut down, and it kind of makes it hard. But True, this is why social media is so where it is today, because now you have people out here doing virtual shows. Right. You know, and, you know, you got people out here still doing music through social media, man. So you definitely. You, you you know you gotta you know you keep your head in the game keep your eye on the ball and really you know what I'm saying, and really know what it's like to really you know what I'm saying captivate you know what I'm saying your brand yourself you know the art you know the artistry of it and the music and the lyrics and the and the things thereof you know what I mean. You said brand. I brought you a gift too, but it's in the car. Okay. I gotta, gra- I gotta grab it. Um, okay. Okay. I gotta, I gotta grab it for you. I forgot. I'm glad you said that. Most I got, definitely. I got you something. Most definitely. I feel that. I feel that. All right. But yeah, absolutely. Most definitely. So another thing that I would love to know, you know, once again, you know, um, you know, with, with the unfortunate circumstances of, you know, this whole movement, you know, as entitled the Bet Lives movement, things of that nature, man, I'm pretty sure you probably have friends of diverse and things of that nature. But what has that been like for you sitting back and, you know, seeing all of that takes place and transpire? Like, you know, what is that? What has that done to you mentally on the inside? Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's sad. Mm-hmm. Um, it's sad, but it's also obvious that something needs to change. Mm-hmm. So it's also good that things are being brought to light because I think, um, you know, some shit. Some things have to be brought to light to be able to fix, mm-hmm. to be able to change, and I think it's a, uh, it's the beginning of a long process that's long overdue. Right. So, man, seeing everything unfold, it it sucks. It sucks to be a part of. I mean, just to be living in the middle of it, it's like uh, <clears throat> wishing that things would get better or mm-hmm. that you could do more to help and then kind of just not having the answers, you know, when you wish that you did. Most definitely, most definitely. So I think that we're going through a tough time right now. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if we can continue to to love one another Mm -hmm. and to keep in mind that you shouldn't judge Mm -hmm. the actions of, a few people you shouldn't judge a a whole lot of people Mm -hmm. based on a few people because yeah there are some terrible people in the world and you know that's where that's just what we that's just what we live in and you know it's not really our fault so um try and stay safe try and be positive i think try and spread positivity and um 
waiting for the day, you know, things get better. Right. So. Exactly. I feel that. <clears throat> I definitely appreciate your insight on that, man, because, you know, again, you know, it's so much that's going on and it's, you know, causing so much, you know, heartache and headache and pain and things of that nature, man. But it's good to see that you're still in high spirits and you're still progressing and moving on and still continuing to put out that music that you put out, man. Um, real quick. So when it comes to, you know, the women of this industry, man, you got we have so many women who are trailblazing and, and breaking that glass ceiling, man. Yeah. What's it like for the for you to see the women evolving and really put, you know, really showing the world that, listen, yeah, we may be a woman, but we can do just yeah. as much as a, as a man can. Well, obviously, it's great, you know, for 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 the women to be coming up in something that is more of a predominantly man men's field. Mm -hmm. You know, it's great to see that. Cause, and I've been listening to hip hop for a long time, and there has been very few female artists mm -hmm. so to see them come out the way they're coming out and also how they're spitting mm -hmm. you know they're really going in mm -hmm. and it's great man it's great it's, that's how that's how it should be you know? okay it's, as time goes on we should be progressing and uh equality is is a thing that we need to be going toward mm -hmm. all the time so great man ladies keep doing your thing and i actually want to get on so i haven't started looking but i was just thinking how i really want to get on a track with with a female artist with a female uh rapper okay so look out for that because that'll probably come who knows you know six months to a year but right thinking about it okay so, and that's gonna be fire too most Whatever definitely is, most definitely gonna be fire i already know so most definitely yeah man all right so Real quick, when it comes to you know, we, you know, we you have so we have so many big cities out here, all over the world that you know that have that has great music coming out of. So you, you know, you got places like California and New York, and then you got Atlanta, then you got Miami, then you got Houston, then you got Dallas, then you got <laughs> DC. Got all these big places. But what right. I want to know from you, what area in the world do you feel like has really truly been making, as it, as I like to use the term, making a lot of noise when it comes to the music. Well, you name so many different places because that that's true. The, the different artists come out from these different places. Like when I was coming up, like it was it was New York. All the mm -hmm. artists were from New York. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, oh, they almost got a wreck. That was close, boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so and then I'm sure there was a lot of other things in between. But then it was like Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And then it was like. I think it was like Texas and like Houston mm -hmm. like when like those artists were coming up and um, then Cali and Miami. Uh, so I don't know, man. But like, I guess my favorite would probably be New York. Okay. I guess it would be New York. But um, I want to be. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of great, a lot of stuff comes out comes out of L.A. Mm -hmm. But then a lot of people go to L.A. Mm -hmm. But then Carolina been coming out lately too. Yeah, man. So, yeah, most definitely. Uh, I love Cole. I love the baby. Uh, just crazy how they, how they're blowing up, and you know we got some other artists really coming up to see, and uh, and some other artists as well. So man, I'm trying to get on that list. Right. Really, honestly, like that would be a blessing. Most definitely. So, you know, goals. Okay. Goals. I, I feel that. You know, and it's funny that you mentioned you mentioned uh Tusi. Um you know, I, I actually I actually had the the pleasure of meeting him um Word. when he when he dropped his first album entitled Poetic Pain. Okay. Um he did a release uh at DTLR in Raleigh mm -hmm. and was you know, got a chance to meet him. And right. then fast forward had a chance to uh come across him again at Raleigh Day. Okay. Which was just this past weekend. He came through, put on a dope performance, man. Nice. So it's definitely good to, you know, see, you know, artists like yourself who are able to shout out the people that are, quote, unquote, as they say, paving the way and really, yeah, you know, man. coming up in this game, man. I see. I see. I don't see everything. I'm not on social media, you know, as much as I should be. But it's great to see people blowing up out here, man. A lot of talented, a lot of talented people. Most definitely. Now, real quickly, are you familiar at all with Carolina Waves at all? 
yeah. All right. So, so you know, what is that? What is that? How how what is it like? You know, being you know around Kalana Way's fam and you know them embracing you and and really rocking with your music. Oh, I don't know if I would speak speak for them and say say that if they I don't know if they're really rocking with my music. I don't know. I hope so. Right. Um. But you know, looking at it from I would say the outside, it looks like a family that I would like to be a part of. You know, uh, I met Miriam plenty of times, and she has been really good to me and put me on. You know, let me perform on some sh- on shows. Mm-hmm. And um. DJ R and B, most definitely, you know, always showing love, <laughs> most man. definitely, Major shout, and, uh, and and it's a blessing, you know, definitely just to even be able to mingle and um, and hope to be, you know, hope hopefully the relationship will grow because I see that being seeming like one of the best avenues to go with mm-hmm. um, in North Carolina right mm-hmm. now. So um, I love what they're doing, man. Miriam is great. She's been putting in work. I've been seeing it for years now, and um, yeah, all those artists, great artists, man. Most They're definitely. Really good artists. Uh, she's got a good eye, you know, and so that's why I always talk about progressing on my quality. <clears throat> right. Because, um, you know, you watch these artists, and you're like, well, I, you know, you might look and be like, you know, what's so great about this artist? You mm-hmm. know, but like, why are they there, and I'm not right. there? Right, right, right. You know, but then you listen to the music Mm -hmm. and then you see them perform Mm -hmm. and then you see the consistency. Right, right. And then you're like, all right, (laughs) it's game. Exactly. And work harder and become better. And then that's how you get there. Most definitely. So, you know, no point in downing anybody that's on a different level. Right. There are levels, a lot of levels to the the whole thing. Right. So... um, trying to progress most, keep it moving most definitely with Mir Mir Miriam was you know you heard it here first you know saying he would love to be a part of this Carolina Ways movement so hey let's get him in <laughs> shouts out to DJ R&B what's good all right, so my, my final thing I want to tap into real quick, bro is you know do you feel like your career and you know where you've you know where you've come from and up to this point, do you feel like your career has been everything that you wanted it to be? Or do you feel, or do you still feel like you still have more to go, more to share, more for people to really plug yeah. into and tap into? Yeah. Um, most definitely. I think they have a long, a long way to go. And I hope that it's a, there's a, a long, wonderful journey ahead of me. Um, you know, in a certain, in some cer- certain situations I have, been ha- very happy and content and feeling blessed you know but always uh still definitely feel like i have a long way to go and uh and looking forward to that you know and hoping the end of the road doesn't come anytime soon so Most- so yeah I, yeah definitely have a long way to go i feel like i don't think that i've really done much of anything yeah. Right, right. So, but that's why I'm working in, a, and like I was saying, like hoping, you know, I can make that one, that one thing that that really hits, and then when that does happen, then I got all this other content. Like I said, the YouTube channel, over a hundred videos, and and I have that waiting mm-hmm. to be discovered because mm-hmm. my, you know, my views are still, they're still low. So, but hopefully, when it does happen, then I'll be ready for. it. Most definitely. And we definitely, of course, you know, from, from all of us over here at the independent scene, you know, you're a shooter hunter, Jay, you know what I'm saying? We definitely can't wait and definitely look forward to seeing everything that you got going for, for us in 2020. Uh, and so my final, my final closing, man, is there any, uh, is there anything that we, the, the supporters and the viewers need to be on, need to be on the lookout for, need to plug into, to, you know, to make it, to keep us tuned in for what you got to come? Yeah, man, for sure. Like I said, Next week, I should have a new song out. I'm just waiting for that Mix and Master to come back, feature with Will Wildfire. And it is, it's a dope song, man. It came out good. I got lyric video already on deck for you. So I would say just follow me on the social media. Everything is Reef Marley. Uh, Instagram, the Facebook, the Twitter, somebody hacked. So <laughs> I'm working on getting that back. Right. Um, but, you know, definitely follow the music accounts spotify apple music all that and uh, most definitely follow my youtube channel 
because whenever I have anything, you know, that I really put work into, then that's always going to be on the YouTube channel. Right. So, um, yeah, man. All right, well, you know, so there you guys have it, <laughs> um, bro. We are tr- we truly do, you know, say so appreciate you stopping by and plugging in you with us. Uh, hey, listen, hey, <laughs> have at it, you know what I'm saying? All right, let me. S- while I'm here. All right, go ahead, go ahead. All right. Now don't this feel so right? Heard they throwing shade on them. How you still so bright? Carolina blue sky, so we first in flight. Looking from the outside, how you gain insight? Right? So once I tried acid, I was feeling fantastic since I've been rapping with a passion like a prophylactic. We done came out the rain. Can you hold my jacket? Show me the record. I'ma break it like a bad habit. Huh? Legs getting tired parking by the throne. I admitted that it's renting, but I'm renting the own. I let you will be authentic unless I'm talking to hoes. I submit to an extent that I'm referring to Moe's. Say, they think they got it, but they not even close. I got work on the holidays. I ain't even close on a week vacation. I ain't even bring clothes. I was on a cruise to my suite on the coast. Presidential pen house with a panoramic view hand in the honey jar like i'm winnie the pool want me to break it in the pool gotta give me the cue i'ma let you get the d you better focus on school throwing up cheap vodka as i'm reaching for the pinnacle sick of being lazy while i'm puffing on medicinal story getting crazy now i starting to feel fictional trying to take my dream away it seems so typical Ooh. That's cool. Okay. Okay. I, uh, I definitely feel well, bro. This is this has been this has been your boy Hunter J23. You know what I'm saying? Live from the independent scene with the one and only Reeve Marley, bro. Definitely shouts out to you for coming through. Thank, thank you, man. and definitely thank you for shot. You know, spitting that spitting those bars, man. That was yeah. definitely that was definitely like that, man. So we definitely, I you know, I hands I support you and everything that you got going. Keep thank progressing. You. Keep doing what you do. Keep applying yeah. pressure. And um, I hope to, and definitely can't look forward to doing this again someday. Yeah, man, I appreciate you, man. Most definitely, and there you salute, go. Salute, salute. There you go. and there you guys have. This has been the Independent Scene with your true hot J, and you are now tuned in to the latest hottest episodic show on Instagram Live. Once again, shouts out to Reeve Martin for stopping by, and I hope to see you guys um tomorrow on the on episode one thirty on one twenty three. I think it's one twenty three. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, if you don't make sure y'all can rep me, man. So, but also he will be performing tonight at Arcade of Thrones Touch the Mic Showcase that is being hosted by yours truly, Hunter J23, um, Mr. Carolina Hip Hop Music being created by uh, DJ Wade Banner. Um, the cost is ten dollars to get in. Uh, open my artists get two songs, feature artists get four songs, and an interview. Um, it's definitely going to be a dope event. So make sure you guys pull up, make sure you guys pull up and, and turn out. You know what I'm saying? Let's get lit. Let's get it popping. Face masks are heavily required for all you people out there that's trying to be safe. And um, we definitely look forward to seeing you guys tonight. He's My boy, Reef, is going to be in the building. So make sure you guys come up and, hey, let's do the damn thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So with that being said, this has been your boy, 100J23 on Independent Scene. I'll see you guys next time. Let's get it. Peace.